This is a tutorial of the testimonial quote slider by Unlimited Elements. Let's get started. To get started, drag in the testimonial quote slider inside of the Elementor column. The slider consists of a icon on top, some text, the name and a subtitle, a title and a subtitle with an image. Down here we have bullets that we can navigate with and I'm going to take you over the settings. So the first setting is for loop and autoplay. If I turn off the autoplay, you can see that it stops playing automatically and you can only play it manually. Autoplay interval is for how many seconds between each autoplay. So if I turn that to one second and turn back autoplay, you'll see that each second it's scrolling and the transition I can also make it slower so you'll see how slow that is right now five seconds perfect the next setting is for number of items so I'm going to change this to let's say three items and this is a responsive setting so you can change it for tablet for example so on tablet you can see the default is one but I can change it to two. Let's jump back into desktop and turn off the autoplay just so it won't be annoying. And you can change the margin between the items, which is the white space over here. I'm going to change that to 50 pixels just so you can see the difference. Awesome. Inside of items is where you manage the content over here. So you can see each one of these boxes has a image. For the profile image, title and subtitle for these two texts down here next to the image and the long content which is usually used for the, used for the quote. Inside of the style tab, we can change the slide background. So for example, if I want it to be white, I can change it. If I want it to make it a darker gray or any other color, of course I can do that. Let's leave it a subtle gray. Padding is for the padding inside of the slide. So I can add some padding over here. You can unlink this and change the padding from each direction. So for example, I'm going to unlink it and I'm going to leave no padding from the top just so that snaps over here and looks awesome. Alignment, you can change the alignment. So for example, if I'll change the alignment to left, you can see all of the content inside of the slide gets aligned to the left. Navigation is for the bullets down here. So, we can change their color. For example, if you have a different color in your website and you want to match it to the brand, you can change the color, you can change the size, and um, we can change the spacing. The spacing is what's around. So right now it's pushed down by 20 pixels. So if you want to push that down even more, you can do so. Alignment, we can alignment, align this to the left, for example, and now you can see that there's 30 pixels on the left so to vanish that we can unlink and change this to zero and now it snaps to the left let's bring it back to the center and link all of our margins make this a little bit smaller and push it back to color gray awesome so that's about navigation quote is for this icon over here so first of all we can make the quote bigger we can uh, change the quote background so let's make it sort of a purplish color and we can change the inside color of the quote let's change that to yellow so it will contrast with our purple awesome quote icon sizes for the icon inside so you can make that smaller or bigger whatever you want and we can add border radius so if you want to make this a circle for example you can do that as well if it's going to be a circle, probably you're going to want to bring back the padding over here so it doesn't snap to the top. So that's for quote. For image, we can change the size so you can make the size bigger or smaller depending on your design. Image spacer is the space between the text and the image. So we can push that if we want. And image uh, spacing is the space on top. Okay, so we have space on top and in between the texts. Show image, we can turn that off. And that just 
turns off the image, not always do we have images and not always we want to show them. So you can turn that on and off. And inside of content, this is the content over here. We can change the color of the content. So for example, I'll change it to a dark purple and content spacing is the space on top. You can play around with the space between the quote and the content. Typography, of course, you can change font sizes and everything like that. I'll just do an example. That's how it works. And inside of typography, we have an option for all the sorts of typography, the title over here, the subtitle, the colors, and the typography for each of these. Not going to touch that, but that's about it. And we also have an option for slide border radius, I forgot to mention, which is to round these slides up, which looks pretty awesome. Cool, I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.